The children in conflict with the law are any person below the age of 18 who has come in contact with the justice system as a result of committing a crime. <laughs> These children are arrested and undergo certain process before being rehabilitated. In Nairobi, for example, young offenders are detained in Nairobi remand home. A visit to the home on this particular day we find the children having Mary after a group of visitors gave them a treat. The children who seemed innocent blamed peer pressure to their current miseries. Ukiwa shule, unaunanga rafiki yako anafanya hivi na unaona, hadi mina takakua kama ee. Sao una, hadi we wana kuchocha na kuambia kuja kuja. Hati ukiambua hivi na mzazi wako sisikio kwe kichuangumu. Na wana, wana kudanganya utumizo dawati zita kusaidia lakini zina kuaribu. And like any other kids, they for sure miss their family's union. It's like we're separated from the rest. Apa masomo si sana, kuna kusoma, ni kazi tu na kubweka na kuenda church hivo. Kuna mbe mzazi wangu msamaju, nataka nime regret, nikona hiyo maisha mbae hizi saidi ya mtu. Kirigiti Rehabilitation Center in Kiambu is strictly a correctional facility for young girls. Majority of the girls were brought here after they were arrested and charged with offenses such as drug use, pickpocketing and other minor crimes. We have uh, those who are truants. Yeah, those who've been stealing. We have cases of uh, defilement. We have cases of street children. We have cases of uh, those who've been loitering. We have cases of, uh, who, for those girls who are in need of protection and care. Being behind the prison walls does not prevent them from pursuing their dreams, future dreams. They do courses like uh, dressmaking, uh, hair dressing, and uh, beauty. Uh, in bakery, they are able to bake cakes, make mandazis, and even bread. Every girl who is here is built for something bigger and better. At the facility, guiding and counseling sermons and Bible studies have helped the young girls at least to have the much needed peace. The school has opened for us a uh, opened for us the gates where we are able to come and do some mentorship and discipleship classes with the girls. We, are, we also talk about personal issues that affect young girls as they grow up and as, as they transit in life. The rehabilitation center has its share of challenges. Most of these girls, their parents ran away from their responsibilities. Most of them were not able to give that parental love. Yeah? They were not able to discipline them. For the young girls, each day has been a learning day for them, reforming and a chance to start again. But who between the parent and the children should carry the blame? Are parents running away from their responsibilities? I do blame uh, the parents. Yeah, they run away from their responsibilities. Yeah, because to some, when a child has been committed here, you'll find that they do they do, they, they they don't care even visiting them. It's like it's a good riddance to them. Eh? Yeah. Mzazi akiketi chini asikilize mtoto wake na asikilize Kenya anasema na kama ataona italid tu hiyo mzozalano ya mzazi na, na mtoto ana yani at least mzazi anaipoeza akisikia ni kitu itamsaidia anamwambia ati ikuwe ni kitu ya ujinga strong and bold i am gifted talented enough to be the best i am an african child indeed these are african children and their past doesn't define who they want to become in future. Their mistake doesn't define who they are right now.
Reporting for Channel 1, I'm Emil Halai in Kirigiti. Reception and Rehabilitation School, Yambu.